This is the oldest rivalry in the NFL. Dating back to 1921, the Chicago Bears versus the Green Bay Packers. Now, the Packers own the series. They have 105 wins to 95 losses and six ties with the Bears. They're currently on an eight-game win streak. Hey, the Bears haven't won a game, I don't believe it, since 2018 when they won the NFC North that year. But this is a new story Packers team. They no longer have Hall of Fame quarterback play going on for them right now. Jordan Love has taken over for Aaron Rodgers, who has left. After two to three decades worth of Rodgers and Favre, this is definitely a new era here in Green Bay. Lots of questions do surround Jordan Love. And same can be said for Justin Fields. Will he take that next step and be the Bears' first true franchise quarterback? We'll have to see and find out. It's week one. I'm excited to bring you guys this one. Make sure you guys hit the like button on the video and subscribe if you're new and or want to see more of the Chicago Bears franchise. Hope you all enjoy. Here's the video. Picking up exactly where we left off last time out. Preseason is officially done. We got to cut some players though. Let's get this, I guess like 70, what? 74. Five man roster, 74 man roster down to 53. We got to cut 21 players. Got an idea who we want to go ahead and start cutting. So we'll start a quarterback. Nathan Peterman, we have no need for him. He can go ahead and go. Get some cap space back from that. Got our first guy off the board early. Now, running back wise, we know three we're going to keep. We're going to keep Foreman, Herbert, and Roshan Johnson. Tristan Abner, we'll go ahead and move him to the practice squad. Personally, in real life, I don't really think he's going to end up making the cut especially since they drafted Roshan Johnson. Plus, there's a good chance they keep these four. So right now, we might keep Homer, just in case. Um, in real life, he's kind of more of a special teams piece. We got tight ends here as well. Patrick Scales is the long snapper. Once again, there's just no point keeping these guys on the team. I don't I don't know why they just don't make a long snapper like <laughs> position. I mean, I don't find it wouldn't be that very hard. They just always move these guys to tight ends, but... You know, it is what it is. Uh, we'll go ahead and start throwing guys who can go on the practice squad over there. I believe offensive line, though, there's not many guys who will be getting cut. We'll go ahead and move Doug Kramer down there. And that is the route we're going to go. We're going to re release Dylan Cole. We're going to keep the younger guys, trying to keep this team, you know, somewhat as young as possible. And, yeah, that, that's going to do it for us. Let's go ahead and get a move on. The trade-off is still tonguing. Once again, we're not trading tonguing at all. But it's game week, baby. We got the Green Bay Packers. We won the biggest robbery in all of, you can say, pretty much the NFL. We got some we got some scouting stuff we also got to go through here. We got the draft class. We're just going to give it the generic draft class or whatever they want to give us. Big week one coming up. Jordan Love, is he going to be the successor to Aaron Rodgers? Like Rodgers was the far. Or would he not be able to live up to you know that first round pick hype? And would Justin Fields take that next step that, Bears fans across the nation are hoping for. We will end up seeing, but first, let's gonna go ahead and get the draft class, start getting through some of this stuff. We're gonna hire some, and fire some scouts. So we'll get everything situated here soon and let's get into it, everybody. All right, so for the scouting, let's go ahead and just take a quick look and see what the region breakdown is gonna be. So in the national region, wide receivers, quarterback, right outside linebacker is looking like the strong suit, so. It's like there are three star scouters already get a wide receiver, so I said that's gonna be wide receiver corner for him. I'm not sure, you know, is wide receivers the route we want to go. Honestly, it might still be offensive line to keep getting that bolstered up even better. But uh, the West region looks like it's also strong in the wide receiver and cornerback route as well. As our national scouts looks like he is for both of that, but we don't want our three star to be on. You know, we want the three star to be on the national region, so. Right outside linebacker as well. That's probably where we need to focus is pass rusher the most. It's either that or we go offensive line. But we got a couple picks in the first round. So, you know, that's going to look good for us as well. Hopefully the Panthers have a bad year and we have, you know, a high pick from them. Got cornerback and quarterback and left outside linebacker in the central region. So it looks like it could be a strong pass rusher class is what I'm seeing. though. Because we got one, two three like four pretty much regions i know the national region just consider everything but that are dealing with outside linebackers that's a good spot and then in the southeast basically the entire sec we got the quarterback wide receiver and left tackle so we got some things we got to look at you know we've got a good idea but i think pass rusher is where we want our national scout to be a big focus on and then you know we'll look at everything else probably yeah, it's not looking like a good uh, maybe offensive line class. Looks like we're seeing a lot of weaknesses in that, but we probably want our two-star 
scout to probably be that maybe that left tackle which is it's already there so we might just leave it at that let that guy be the guy and then i imagine we'll probably keep looking at you know maybe some corners get even a little bit better there. we got some young corners on the team that we'd love to see grow and maybe even some wide receiver work too so yeah i think who you know we got an idea we're gonna go ahead and get through these scouts we're gonna manage them and see what we can find and hopefully we got the right guys for it let's go all right we got scouting situated elizabeth i guess in cube will be our three-star national scout focus on the outside linebacker and offensive tackle i feel like you know those are kind of our primarily focus points that we need to have you know get the offensive line get the pass rush better we got david hubert down in the southeast region he'll be focusing on offense tackles and interior offensive line that interior offensive line are a little bit on the weaker side of things in that region but I mean, we, the other one was like quarterback, and we just really couldn't get anything to kind of like match up with it well. We got Lamar Thornton. He'll handle wide receivers and cornerbacks in the West region. Chloe Ray, cornerbacks, tight ends. It's not really looking at tight ends. We just kind of needed somebody to focus on corners. And then Sergio Pierce, wide receiver and safeties in the Northeast region. So we're good to go here with scouting wise. We get a quick top uh, rundown of the top 10 prospects Trevor Wheatner, Matthew Brank Bankston. Alex Booth would be a guy out of Michigan State that we'll probably look at. Jamaica McGee out of UT. Love to see it. Only one player with an upgrade this week, and it is Chase Claypool. He got quite a bit to a lot of stats. Claypool, it's a big year for you. Contract season, or contract year, I guess you could say. He's got a lot to prove this year, and hopefully he gives us something. You know, make us want to extend him. We might be able to get him on a you know, friendly deal on this game, but we'll see if he can prove something, but... I don't think we have anything else to do, everybody. Let's get to it. It's week one. Packers, Bears, on the lakefront, in Soldier Field. Uh, here we are at Soldier Field. Looks like it might be a little bit of a windy day here in Chicago, but it is the Windy City, so, you know, expect it. But this could be a future rivalry in the making. Justin Fields, Jordan Love, Christian Watson, DJ Moore, some... Some young folk, two pretty young teams. The Packers defensively aren't, you know, on the youngest of size, but this should be extremely exciting. This is going to, I mean, the social media battle between the two teams, like, fan bases has been unreal. Like, literally <laughs> at each other's neck about every single small detail of something, whether it's people just arguing about, you know, Jordan Love, maybe not hitting the net in practice, or if it's a... One good pass from one of the other person. It's like, bro, y'all chill out. It's all going to be decided week one. Like, who cares what's going on in training camp and preseason? Week one, we are here. Let's get to it. I don't realize we're still a few weeks away, but here, let's get things underway. Cairo Santos will kick it deep. The Chiefs win the very first game of the season, beating the Lions 34-23 down there. And we are underway for the 2023-2024 season. And Santos will start it with a touchback. And Jordan Love, the new signal caller for the Green Bay Packers, will take over at his own 25-yard line. And we'll see what the young gun can do. He's got some speedy weapons on the outside and Christian Watson and Romeo Dobbs. But we'll have to see if we can contend with these guys. Let's see what we can do. Hopefully this Bears defense is a little maybe new, more new and improved. Got a veteran backfield, A.J. Dillon, Aaron Jones. We'll see how we handle this. Love starts under center, and it will be a start with Aaron Jones. And Tremaine Edmonds, the newly signed linebacker from the Buffalo Bills, starts us off with a tackle. Gain of one for Aaron Jones. Aaron Jones and Love in the shotgun formation back there. Love will start with a pass play. His first pass play of the season will end up in a sack. Jaquan Briska led the team in sacks last year. He's going to get the first sack of the season for us this year. Now, Jaquan Briska leads us in sacks again. We got a problem. <laughs> we got a major problem. But we will take the sack. We're not going to complain about it at all. And that is going to set up a third down and extremely long for Jordan Love and company. Love will start back to pass. Looking downfield. They're running nothing but four verts. They're taking a shot. They're testing Jalen Johnson. Jalen Johnson knocks away, but Eddie Jackson almost had a pick. Oh, man. Eddie could have came away with a pick right there. Unfortunately, is not able to. And it will be a three and out for the Packers to start. 
Great start for the Bears defense, boy. You love to see it. Khalil Herbert will be deep to return. And he will feel this one in just inside his 40 to be good field position for the offense. As Jordan, uh, not, not Jordan, but Justin Fields will come out to lead the Bears. And we'll see what he can do in his first action of the regular season. I'm excited for this one. We'll see how things fare. Packers kind of stacking the box a little bit here. We'll go into the air, though, back to throw. And why not start off with his new favorite, his new number one target. It's DJ Moore starting off early with a 21-yard reception. He's in the face of Rosal Douglas, and they are already chirping here in this one. Hadn't taken long, but it's a big start. I don't like the fact that here, man, these receivers are kind of like stopping, like in the middle of it. And that worked out for us, but like, normally, you know, you'd expect them to keep running, maybe more towards, like, I guess, going towards the sideline. But like, they just kind of seem like, notice it even in the streams that it's kind of like these receivers kind of like stopping, like on routes that normally keep carrying them. But Foreman picks up three on the first run play of the season. Now, to make it a little bit more of a challenge, we are allowing the coach suggestions to pick the plays here. So, I don't want to just be kind of running through everything. Now, I might have to here and there if I start seeing, like, the same play over and over and over again pick a play. But, but right now, we're going to let the coach suggestions handle it. And we're right now going back to pass. Justin Fields is going to be in a whole lot of trouble. Well, there is one thing we know he can do extremely well, and that is take off with the ball. Late hit out of bounds. Should be an extra 15. Should be half distance to the goal. But it's going to be a first down run nonetheless for Justin Fields. We know he can do that pretty easily and pretty effectively. We'll remain in shotgun. Justin Fields is going to hand this one off to Khalil Herbert, who has nowhere to go. Rashawn Gary blows up the first play for Khalil Herbert this season. And it's a loss of four, setting us up with a second and long situation. We're going to go five wide, second down and 14 here. We'll see if we can try and get something out of here. We're going to set up a screen. Khalil Herbert trying to cut it back inside. May have been better for us to stay to the outside. But ends up picking up five yards. Got that lost yardage back in, a, in an extra yard. Bring up a third down and nine, a little bit more favorable distance. Back to throw. Going over the middle is Darnell Mooney. Picking up the first down. Mooney coming off of an ankle injury, a season-ending ankle injury at that last year. He's going to have his first catch of the season for a gain of 11. Eric Stokes on the tackle. Third and goal from the six. Back to throw is Justin Fields. He's going to his man, and it is DJ Moore who somehow comes down with it. Dangerous throw, but ends up working out. And DJ Moore has the first touchdown of his Chicago Bears career, and it's the first touchdown of the 2023 campaign for us. And why wouldn't it be DJ Moore? I don't know how. He just, he, he's in good concentration, just pushed Douglas right out of the way. And it's an early start for Justin Fields and company. And we'll take an early 7 nothing lead. Jordan Love back out here. Let's we'll see what he can do in his second drive of work. And not a good first drive. Got sacked. Almost a win interception. Let's see if our defense can continue to keep him rattled. He'll drop back to throw again here. And the hit stick is getting a screwed up, boy. I got to lay off that hit stick button, boy. It is getting me killed tremendously. Get a quick look at the draft class. Hopefully, it's a good one for the Bears. Hopefully, a lot of these players end up working out. We know everybody's not going to work out. But hopefully, Ryan Poe has picked a good one. His second down, quick throw. He's got his man again. Jordan Love is two for three on the day with a couple quick completions here on his second drive to read. First and 10, it'll be a run to Aaron Jones, and we won right by him. Eddie Jackson is going to make the tackle. Absolutely just run right by him with Briscoe, man. I, I don't. <laughs> Try to make the tackle. The game decided otherwise. Well, this is first down. Packers are on the move here, and they're in our territory for the first time today. So Love is finding some comfortability with Jaden Reed, the rookie out of Michigan State. Got another catch. Makes it second down and six here. And they'll drop back to fire once again. And this time it's Christian Watson who can't hang on. Kyler Gordon seems to be excited about a play. Maybe he made the play. I don't know if it was an inaccurate throw or did Watson drop it. It looked like Watson dropped it. But I could be wrong on that one. Anyway, third down and six defense. We're looking to get off the field here in this drive here around midfield. Back to throw here. And this time Watson makes the play. Coming down with it. And he'll be inside the red zone. Christian Watson, first down grab. 
Best play of the day so far for Jordan Love and the Packers. And they are threatening to score and try and tie this one up. Handoff, Aaron Jones to the outside, untouched to the end zone as he just walks in there. And the Packers, just like that, tie it up. Didn't take much. A couple good passes from Jordan Love and Aaron Jones just untouched to the end zone. A couple big runs from Jones on this drive. And that is pathetic defense. All right, Justin Fields had a pretty solid opening drive. Made some good completions. Also, was ended up having to take off for a little bit. But let's we'll see if he can carry it over. As we got a brand new ball game yet again as we are tied. And we'll start off with a play action pass. Looking downfield, Justin Fields has a man. And it's Darnell Mooney connecting with a big game. We are already in Packer territory. At the 46-yard line, Mooney with a second catch of the day. Coming up with a big game. Already at 40 yards on the day. Offensive line held up well. Justin Fields throwing a shot. He wants Mooney. Knocked away. Good defense on the play by Eric Stokes. Had Mooney potentially for six there. But not able to come down with it. And it'll bring up a third down and two. And we're probably just outside of Santos field goal range too. Going back to the ground, though. Herbert trying to find a lane there, and he's not going to have enough for the first down. It's going to be a fourth and one. First quarter is near the end, and they are telling us to go for it, and honestly, I think we got to. And this is one of the biggest plays of the game probably so far. It's fourth down and one. We're looking to find a way to continue this drive alive, and we're going to keep it with Justin Fields on a quarterback sweep. And Justin Fields is going to find the first down marker and pick it up at the 35-yard line. Fourth down play kind of looked like it was going to get blown up there. But, hey, we found a way to make it work. We're going back to the ground. We got Herbert again. And he'll pick up a couple more yards. So far, running game not really being too effective here in this one. We bring up a third down and eight here. Fields in the shotgun formation. He'll drop back the throw. He's going to look over the middle, and it's an errant throw. Darnell Savage will have the interception. Bad throw, wanted Claypool, had Claypool open too. And Justin just air mails it on him. And that is his first pick of the season. Jordan Love back on the field. He'll start off with a handoff here to Aaron Jones. Jones coming off of a touchdown run, his last rushing attempt. This time he'll pick up two yards. Second down and eight, he'll go back to Aaron Jones. Why not? He's been running somewhat pretty well so far. He's got five carries and 39 yards now. Picks up another two yards. Jalen Johnson on the tackle and company there. They bring up a third down and six. Let's get off the field, man. Let's get a quick three and out after that turnover. And it give us some momentum back. Little drop back to throw. Looking down. Field and come, Tremaine Edmonds, you have to make that play. But it's going to be Wow. This is going to be incomplete. I don't know if Henry didn't get his feet in bounds or not. But we're not going to complain. And we will take the ball back. Good three and out right there. And honestly, I, I just got to see what happened here. I, I don't know if he just, did he not catch this ball inbounds? Got one foot in. And no, that second foot, he could not toe tap it. And we get the three and out. Let's go. Lost a couple yards on first down. It's second down and 12. Now back to throw will be Justin Fields. He's looking for his man. He's got that Claypool wide open. Just, it's another errant throw. I know he was on the run right there, but that's got to be a completion, man. He's wide open. Get the ball to him, Justin. Bring up a third down in 12 now. Both defenses maybe look like they're kind of settling in some. And another misfire throw for Justin Fields. Makes a 5 of 11 on the day. Kind of on an incomplete streak right now. And that's a quick three and out for the Green Bay Packer defense. They did the job. All right, Jordan Love back out here on the field. First down and 10. He'll drop back the throw to start. And it will be a completion. This time, Henry is going to make the catch. <laughs> Had a lot of room to be able to get two feet down that time. And he'll pick up seven. And oh, a big hit flying in there is the newly signed TJ Edwards. Coming over from the Philadelphia Eagles. Flies in and just absolutely takes out the knees of Aaron Jones. Have yet to see A.J. Dillon in this game so far. It's just been the Aaron Jones show so for their backfield. Third down and six. Can we get another three and out? Back to throw. Jordan Love all day to throw. He's probably going to find a man at some point. And, oh, not able to hang on as Henry. Tried to dive and make the play. Pass rush, that is absolutely pathetic. It's pathetic. He had so much time back then. We got bailed out because dude couldn't make a diving catch. 
Come on, pass rush, man. Y'all got to get back there. All right. We got to find a way to get this offense going. Justin has thrown uh, quite a bit of incompletions in a row. Needs to figure something out here. And we'll start with a quick, easy completion to Cole Komet. He'll pick up a gain of about seven or eight. And it'll be a handoff in this Travis Homer. Homer picking up a solid gain of nine on the play. We're back in Packer territory. And taking a shot down, fielding. Oh, look at DJ Moore showing the strong hands on the play. Picking up a big gain right there of 24. We are in Packer territory yet again. Strong hands. Look at that. Strong hands. Just showing it. First down and 10 from the 25-yard line. Play action pass. Looking downfield. Taking a shot towards the end zone for Claypool. Can't connect. Tried to hit Claypool a couple of times today, but him and Justin Fields just cannot find a way to get on the same page. Fields is... He's errantly throwing the ball to him each time, pretty much. So, right now, it just seems like we can't get that connection working. But to bring up the second down and 10, and oh my goodness, Rashawn Gary just absolutely just. I don't know if that was the tight end he was on or whatever. He just absolutely blew that play up from the jump. We're going to go five wide. We need the offensive line to hold up a little bit. Third down and 12. We're not going to try and force anything, though, if we don't have to. But we don't have to worry about it. Darnell Mooney can't cut it up in time. Got a foot out of bounds, but he does have a first down and go at the three. Oh, it looked like he was going to have a walk-in touchdown. Just absolutely had Stokes confused exactly where he was going to end up at. And just planted that cut up foot out of bounds. But we are in very good striking distance to take the lead again. Going back to Herbert, and this time he will find the end zone. Herbert's able to get in. We take the lead back. Defense has pretty much shut down the Packers for the most part. This time, the offense finally able to make something happen. See what happens when we give DJ Moore the ball, man. The offense just seems to move a little bit more efficiently. And we're in the end zone for the second time today. Let's see how Jordan Love faces being down. He's pretty much in almost a two-minute drill situation here, and I think we're going to get called for P.I. We were kind of bumping him all the way there. We were trying to get the press in, yeah. They're going to get us. Trying to get the press, never got it, and it's going to be pass interference. So they're going to get a free 10 there. And it'll be a play action pass looking downfield. He's got his man, and it is. Is that, is that Romeo Dobbs? Regardless, they got a first down inside of. Oh, no, it's Melton. And not exactly sure what number Dobbs were, but I guess he's not out here at the moment. But pick up a first down inside the 35 yard line at the 33. Defense. Got to be better than that, man. And, oh, I thought we were going to bring out a break on that with Eddie Jackson. Brisk is able to make the tackle, but not before they have a first down at the red zone again. And here come the Packers looking to tie it up once again, man. Hunter Henry with another catch. Two-minute warning time. They're already down here. So, we could see some runs coming from the Packers. But they're going to drop back to throw here. And it is going to... Oh, it is a drop. Christian Watson hands are not being there for him today. He's already got a couple drops. It looks like the Packers are going to be losing an offensive lineman as well. And can the defense make a play? Get off the field holding the three. And making the play is Brisker. But breaking a tackle is Aaron Jones. Showing some fight. Picks up the first down. His first and go from the five. Brisket had it all the way. They just couldn't wrap up. Ah, oh, Brisket, you have to make that play, dude. That's inexcusable. Sending heat here and big hit, but able to hang on. Is Jaden Reed for his first career NFL touchdown grab? Stuck in the pocket. Jordan Love had sent some heat on him. Made a good throw and able to make the completion. They have tied this one up yet again. Boy, I, I need Brisket to break on that ball, man. Like, you're just looking like, what, what is that? There's a second down and 10 now. And once again, Rashawn Gary, and this time he will wrap up Justin Fields. He gets to him, and it makes it a third down and 23, and this has been just an awful way to start the drive. Honestly, thought it may have been more of Christian Watson show, but no, it's Jaden Reed. Him and Hunter Henry have been the two guys. And Eddie, you gotta make the play. We were on it. 
We got to pick that one off, man. And you're a ball hawk. You're talking about you're going to have the best season of safety he's ever going to have. Well, I need you to make those plays and come down with the ball, dude. 37 dropped the throw and is incomplete. One at Watson. Tried to get the speed of Watson by Jalen Johnson, but an errant throw. It's going to be a three and out for the Packers as well. Good job, defense. That way to hold up. And not much room for the Packers at the great field position, thankfully. Right now, I feel like it's kind of been DJ more a bust for this offensive pass and attack. You see that he's getting open, or it's kind of maybe then it's been Mooney, but. Aside that, everybody else has not been really effective, but we are going to find Mooney here, and Mooney's going to pick up a first down. And Mooney's a little slow to get up, but he's at the 30-yard line. The clock will stop. They really had just been sitting on every route. I mean, my goodness, man. It's, it's tough to throw him, at. It really is. Second down and 10 here, back to throw. And we got a man. We got Mooney yet again. Mooney's going to have a first down grab. We're going to call our first time out of the half. And we got some things working here, potentially. First and 10, looking downfield. We got our tight end. It's Cole Komet. Komet will pick up a first down at the 42. Another first down. We should be probably pretty good for field goal range. But we do have the win with us, so we might just need a few more yards. Just can't make a mistake. First and 10 from the 42. Back to throw. Coming over the middle is Darnell Mooney again. I believe we're going to get a face mask on the play. And that's exactly what we're going to get. We're going to get an additional 15 yards with seven seconds left. We still got enough time to possibly take one shot to the end zone here. And why not? Oh, boy, this is not who I thought was going to be in the game. Okay, well, didn't think that was, I thought I was going to be receiver down there. But anyway, first and 10 from the 24-yard line. We're not going to take a chance. It's Robert Tong in the former Packer. we get a few more yards here. We'll get to the 15, uh, to the 14-yard line, his first catch of the day. And that'll make it a much easier field goal for Cairo Santos. And he will drill it. And it's 17-14 going into the half. And it's been a it's been a competitive first half for sure. Both teams going back and forth. Defense has made stops when they need to. Rushing attack for us has not been there at all. Both teams able to throw the ball pretty well, though. All right, well, let's see if we can take advantage of that two-for-one opportunity. We were able to get points on the first half to end it. Let's see if we can get it here. And Khalil Herbert is going to start off with a big run back up to the 39-yard line. Good kick return. Justin Fields in the offense has something to work with here. First and 10, shotgun formation. We'll start off with a pass play. Looking down the field, taking a shot. And once again, man, my goodness. These DBs break off more of their routes than a little bit. They'll be in man. They'll be in zone. Zone's more understandable. The, the head's typically in the backfield. But my goodness, man, they just break off anything. The ball's in there, boom, they just absolutely know that, oh, we can break on the ball. Second and 10 here. Going back to the ground here and trying to get something going, but nothing for Herbert. Look at that stat line. 11 rushes and three yards. It's been miserable trying to run the ball versus front. Third down and 10, five wide, looking back to throw. And Justin, we're just going to take out with him. We got an easy first down, and he'll step out of bounds, picks up 12 on the play. Justin's four carries, 27 yards. Go under center here. This time, Justin Fields will drop back to pass again. This time, he's going to have a wide open DJ Moore. Nobody covered more coming on a shallow cross, pushed out by Jair Alexander. And Justin Fields is over 200 yards on the day. But DJ Moore already at 75. Third and nine, back to throw. Going to take the check down here. Herbert, can he make a fight? He's not going to get the first down, but it's going to bring up a fourth and one. And we have an interesting situation here. Let's see what they decide to do. They're probably going to try and take points. I feel like in this type of game, you got to go for it. And there you go. I love to see it. Let's go for it. Let's go get this first down. Fourth and one, shotgun formation. We're going to hand it off. It's Travis Homer is going to pick up the first down. and gets to the 10. Right now, Homer, I believe, is leading the team in rushing. Yard. Well, I guess Justin Fields is. But for the running backs, he is leading it. Third and goal from the five. Fields will drop back to throw. Not much open. Trying to hit the back of the end zone. And he throws it away, pretty much. Try hitting DJ Moore. Nope. Went for it. Got it, but... Ends up just ended up being you know a few more players to just run some time off the clock and Santos will extend our lead to six. 
And Aaron, I'm about to say, if Aaron Jones comes down with this, like, good grip, dude. <laughs> Eric Jones does not need a breather all day, but boy, I mean, he's been pretty much doing it all for the Packers. He's running the ball decently. And oh, they're taking a shot, and it looks like another errant throw from Jordan Love trying to hit Christian Watson. Had him pressed up. Kyler Gordon trying to run with him. As I said, tried. <laughs> Christian Watson has great speed, but thankfully, it's another errant throw. And that'll bring up a third down and 10 here. Defense, let's get off the field. It'll be a play action pass. They're looking downfield, and it's another missed throw from Love. Not on the same page with his receivers pretty much at all these last couple of drives. Want to read again. Jaden Reed's been pr doing pretty well so far here in this one. But defense gets off the field, and that will be a punt. And Khalil Herbert has some space. Herbert cutting it back inside and gets a good return up to the 37. Justin Fields, let's get this lead extended a little bit more. We have an opportunity to get this to a two-score game for the first time today. Let's get it done. Second and six at the gain of four. We're coming over the middle and finally able to connect on a play with Chase Claypool. We've attempted to get to him a few times today. Just have not been able to get on the same page with him. Mainly Justin has missed fire on the throws. But Claypool able to make the catch right there for a gain of 15. And we're inside Packer territory. First and 10, we'll go five wide. And we will be getting sacked on the play. Is Kenny Clark getting in there for the second sack of the day for the Packers? Up in the line for the most part has kept him clean. There's been a couple times where pressure has broken down, but first time we got sacked like pretty much off the rip. And we're just gonna go right here to quickly to DJ Moore. No point sitting waiting any more longer. DJ Moore is open. You get him the ball. It's going to be third down and eight. He's closing in on the century mark today. Third and eight. See if we can keep the drive alive. Got a man. Can we make the play? Cole Komet coming down with it, making the contested grab. Fields puts it where only he can get it. It's third catch of the day. He has 36 yards. None maybe bigger than that one. It's a second and 14 play action pass, and we're going to have a wide open Darnell Mooney. Wasn't sure how that ball was going to go. It was definitely poor accurate. But we come down with it. It's going to bring up a first down and 10 from the 10. It might be even be first and go. I don't know if we're going to have an opportunity for a first down or not. Looks like we are if we get to, like, <laughs> the two-inch yard line. And we'll hand it off Khalil Herbert. Herbert has it. Herbert finally finding a little bit of success on the ground game. He's literally averaging a yard a carry, though. That is miserable. Second and four from the five. Play action pass. Justin Fields looking to run, and he'll just take it in himself. Justin Fields getting his first rushing touchdown of the season. And get it on the play action pass. And looking good, boys. Looking good. Finally up to a two-score lead here. Let's see if we can take advantage, and defense can keep things rolling smoothly. Let's go, boys. Let's go. And, oh, Jordan Love floats one. And read all the way by Jaquan Brisker. And Jaquan Brisker will put this one in for a pick six. Give him the score, Jaquan Brisker. Read all the way. Jordan Love nowhere to go on that one. Throwing the alley-oop to Travis Gibson. And that one might have put this one out of reach. Floated the pass up there. Love has thrown some questionable balls today. Been a little inaccurate when he's gone downfield. It makes the mistake there. It's brisker. I can just put this one on ice. Both quarterbacks now with an interception in the opponent's territory. Uh, Loves may have been a bit more costly as it ends up in a pick six. He'll drop back the throw again. He's got Hunter Henry. Hunter Henry throws off Stevenson, but Edmonds cleans him up. What a big hit. And oh, it's a drop. Jaden Reed had it dead in his hands. It's another drop for but well, I don't know what's going on, but the Packers have had a bunch of drops in this game. Some of these are not even Love's fault. Like they are literally just dropping the ball. Don't understand why, but they are. Third down and three. Taking a shot yet again, and it's incomplete. Jalen Johnson on the coverage. And it's another incomplete pass. Interesting that they would go a deep shot on 4th and 3, but I guess if you know you're going for it on 4th down, 
That's maybe why when it's fourth and short. Fourth and three, they'll hand it off, and we can't make the play. Picks up a big gain, and another injury for the Packers offensive line. Josh Myers goes down. Ah, that's the issue. The away team has trouble catching the ball. We got that thing activated, and that's why it's the home field advantage. Ah, that makes sense now. I'm wondering, I'm like, what is going on with them catching the ball here? That pick up another first down, though, on that play. Jaden Reed been the number one target all day for the wide receiver core, at least. It's been him, Hunter Henry, and I guess Aaron Jones. And, oh, almost another pick. Eddie Jackson was there. Second time Eddie's had his chance to get a pick. Not able to make the play, though. Third down and one. They're going to go five wide with the look. And a diving play by Jaden Reed. He gets by us. Try pressing up with Brisker. Didn't go well for us. And they have a first down at the 25-yard line. If it was a better throw, though, it would have been a walk-in touchdown. And that one read beautifully by Tremaine Edmonds. Jordan Love throws his second INT of the day, and that one will probably do it for the Packers' chances in hopes of trying to come back in this one. They're already down three scores, and Love just threw a second pick in our territory. And looking to see if we can put this game on ice, and we finally have something with Clear Herbert. Oh, Clear Herbert with a beautiful juke. On the safety forward. And we're going to pick up a first down run. Jaya Alexander saves a bigger game with the tackle. And he can tell the frustration on the Packers' face. As this one has just went completely upside down in the second half. Ah, they got us on that one. Thought he was going to come over more than what he did. He stayed, cut it upfield. I think Love may have even let him upfield. Once again, we just have no pass rush. And why wouldn't somebody just be wide open? Hunter Henry is finally going to be stopped. But instead, he is going to be hurting. He's over 100 yards on the day. So he might have a wrist issue. And another pick for Jordan Love. He throws his third. He's sitting right there with Tremaine Edmonds. His second pick of the day. And Edmonds will take this one all the way as well. Touch. Down Chicago Bears. It is a 40 piece on the Packers. This is the day, the week one we were looking for versus these Packers. They give anything like this in real life, boy. It is going to be a fun, fun day. But no, we're probably not going to end up anything like this. Probably going to end up like 17 14 or some mess like that because that just seems what's likely to happen. But for us, it's 41-14 with two minutes and 17 seconds left. And this one is absolutely over. It's been over for a little while, but it's officially done. But that's going to do it for us here in week number one. As we said, 41-14 is the final in this one. Getting a week one win over your division rival, the Green Bay Packers. It almost feels like two wins when you get one over them. But we'll gladly take it, Justin Fields. Solid day. We could have, there was some inaccurate throws that we want to get cleaned up. That is for sure. But Rollins got the win. Defense shined in this one, I would say, more than anything. But 274 yards for Justin Fields, a touchdown pass and a touchdown run. Mooney had over 100 yards. DJ Moore almost at 100 yards. Five catches for 88. 60.6 .6 completion percentage. Not too bad for Justin Fields. And a pretty rough day for Jordan Love at the office. 27 of 47. 300 passing yards. But a, a pick, three interceptions, and two pick sixes. It's not what they were looking for out of Jordan Love in his first, like, start as the official first-time starter. Rest of the team, though, we look at Khalil Herbert. 20 carries, 51 yards. Kind of got something going a little bit more in the fourth quarter, but it was a rough day running the ball. That is clearly a struggle point for us here in this one. Fields ran for 28 yards on six carries. Dante Foreman, he struggled as well. Travis Holmes is the only one who actually kind of saw, like, some pretty decent, like, yardage go for him. Mooney leads the game in receptions and receiving yards. DJ Moore did have the lone touchdown reception at the first touchdown of the game. Komet 
Friesen, three catches, 36 yards. Tony in a couple more catches for 12, along with Khalil Herbert. And Claypool, one catch, 15 yards. They have a couple of sacks. Darnell Wright and Nate Davis. Looks like they got dinged for it. Leading the team in tackles, Tremaine Edmonds with a total of eight. Tackle for losses, Jaquan Brisker. And he also had a sack. Once again, Jaquan Brisker already leading the team in sacks. I also had a pick six in that one. So good stuff, Brisker. Had a very good day. Tremaine Edmonds also with a couple of picks. And before we get out of here, Jaquan Brisker is also going to get an upgrade here. We're going to put it in hybrid. And unfortunately, I didn't get his overall to go up any, but should be some good stuff. Got plus two to man, plus one to speed in zone coverage. We will take that any day of the week. Now his rating didn't go up. I mean, got plus one to speed. That is exactly what we need. Now he's a 90 speed. Let's make Brisker even better. Go ahead and advance the week. We know the Lions lost, and I believe the Vikings did win. So we are going to be tied in first place with the Vikings. And next time out, we'll be taking on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Had a high power offense they got, but they just don't have the quarterback that they used to have in Tom Brady. Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, still going to be pretty tough to stop. Baker Mayfield is going to be out there. We got View Weekly Awards real quick. This is going to be Tremaine Evans after having a couple picks in a pick six, and that's exactly who it is. And that press got impacted Mahomes and Kyle Duggar also rewarded. That is going to do it for us here in this one, you guys. If y'all enjoyed it, make sure you guys hit the like button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts here on the Chicago Bears franchise so far. If there's anything you would like to see change as well. If you guys are new here, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with this Bears franchise and more. We're also going to be live streaming later tonight as well with the Titans franchise at 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. I'm out till next time, everybody. I hope you guys stay safe out there. I'll catch you guys in the next one. God bless and peace. Close it out, future. It's the love from my fans got me still here